Right, we're down at the table then. So it does come in this uh, felt uh, bag here, a little trinket bag. So we've got Vapors Cloud written on there with the logo, Asgard written there. So inside you'll find a little baggie here. We've got some O-rings, we've got some flathead grub screws, and we have a Allen key here, which you can use to take out the little screw that's in uh, the actual base of the RDA to put it into squonk mode. We'll show you that a, bit, a little bit later on. We also get a spare 810 fitting drip tip here and um, we also get this beauty ring which takes it up from 30 millimeters to about 33 millimeters so that will just slip on like that and that's what we're looking like right so we look around the side we have got asgard engraved in here i have the gum metal version i believe it does come in a stainless and black as well so let's just have a look at the top first so it does come with this uh, mighty large 8m fitting drip tip here but of course we do have the o-ring in the top there so you can put all your aftermarket ones on to your preference so just plug the other one back in now so that's what we're looking like with the low profile tip in Nice tolerances, so no troubles at all with that one. So we've got a number of airflow holes on the side. So this is dual core. So we've got, um, well, you can put it in single cord as well. So we've got 30 holes on either side. Quick look on the bottom of this one. So vapors cloud, we've got uh, engraved into the bottom there. Very nice indeed. We've got the serial number. We've got the two. Uh, hex style screws basically you can store the screws in the bottom of the base if you did want to use one of these so you want to put it into regular mode you just put the screw back in the base then when you're finished with it you can just plug it back into the bottom of the rda which is awesome so it saves you losing your screws so you don't need a natural separate squonk pin but th that's basically now in squonk mode we're going to use it in squonk mode today on the uh, top side carbon so we'll leave it in that particular mode right let's just zoom it out a little bit i've also got the uh, storm breaker here by vapors cloud triple parallel mod this one but if you look in the center of this one that's the adjustable uh 510 pin and what i was finding with the using the Asgard because we've sort of got like the hollow section through there I know that we've got it in squat mode at the moment but when you put the, the the little screw in there anyway what I was finding is when you're screwing this down onto the storm breaker I wasn't always getting decent connection because we, we haven't got like the flat uh, 510 pin there and as you can see there we've got quite a narrow adjustable uh, pin there and sometimes I was like catching it so when you're screwing it down it's sort of like tightening it up so that wasn't uh, ideal at all but uh, let's just put it right out and show you what it looks like we put the little beauty ring on as well so proper matchy matchy going on i think this is graphite gray but basically the gun metal is a pretty good match but that's what we're looking like with the Stormbreaker as well so yeah, awesome combo this is like i say it's just a bit of a shame that the um that 510 pin isn't just a flat one so it would make a better connection with this but anyway the review of this one will be up on the channel very soon take the top cap off so inside here we've got like a an altum so if you take that off there this piece does come out here so you, you notice there we have got the what have we got there one two three hole uh, four holes which uh, do angle down and we've also got the 
uh, a big slot there for your airflow. So we've got like the slot and we've also got the holes. So that's what look like inside there. We've got like a bit of a reduced chamber for when it goes over the actual coils. But look inside the sleeve, you see we've got the notches there. So on here we've got the uh, corresponding notches at the top. So when you want to plug this piece back in, just sort of spin it round till it clicks in place. And then this piece does actually spin round. So you see there we have got the big notches. They coincide with the notches that are in this Alton piece here. But let's have a look at the deck then. So we've got the two positives there. Well, we've got the positive block basically surrounded by the peak insulator. But this is the positive on this side. This is negative, negative there and positive there. So in theory, you can do a single core, put it in the middle and put one leg there, one over there, one there, one over there. Or as I like to rock it, put it in dual core mode and just one core there, one there and just pull it into the middle to your preference but there you can just see we have got the hole for the squonk pins we got plenty of room here for uh, cotton mega deep juice well on this one I haven't measured it but that one does look uh, rather large indeed there's your flathead screws really good screws on here a couple of o-rings around the bottom to help make the seal as well so let's just plug that back into the top so it doesn't really matter where you have it you just sort of got to spin it around until you can fit it in place just like that that's it there that's basically fully open and then twiddle it round and then you can just close off these columns so what you adjust on one will be the same on the other side so if you want a more restrictive vape that's what you do so it does lock on both sides so round to the other side when it's fully open keep on going and then you can remove the RDA from your mod. Right, so the first thing you need to do is make sure all of these post screws are undone sufficiently. I think they're all about okay now. The wire we're using today is some Coilology Tricor Fuse Clapton. Now I've made my own calls here. We've got six wraps of these ones. I'm not sure what they're gonna ohm out like, but I've done them at 3.5 uh, millimeter internal diameter as well. And I've cut the leg lengths at uh, 7.5 on the trusty old coily tool. So you can pick these up, personalised ones, check out the Facebook page and group. Uh, you can get these all over the place now. And there's also a coily tool website shop. So check it out if you want to get yourself a coily tool. And it just makes sure that you can get some nice evenly cut leg lengths, which is ideal for postless decks. So one on each side like that. Right, don't need to go too mad with these because I'm not sure how thick these uh, posts are on this side. So if you crank that up too much, you might end up uh, denting the other side. So just make sure they're tight enough, but don't go too mad. bring it into the center right so i'm going to go with something like that so we're going to go and put it on a mod now and bed these calls in so we have got space calls today so it shouldn't require too much pulsing right so i'm happy with that let that cool down and then we can put some cotton in it right today we have got some uh, firebolt cotton which is from vape fly this is courtesy of Hip Hop Juice, hiphopjuice.co.uk. Kindly supplied some cotton for me to use, and this is quite handy. This stuff because you can, you can use the ones for 2.5, 3mm, and 3.5mm, depending on uh, what size internal diameter you've got. So, look inside here. We want to look for a blue one because that's 3.5. Right, so just twist it as you're putting on through. Our squonking today, so shouldn't have to have it too long. We'll try and get this through the other side as well. I am a little insane. Come on, baby. 
really feed my pain I'm smiling all night long at you No one makes me feel like you do The effect of you is it voodoo It's like a hurricane Twisting around inside my brain Tell me honey do you feel the same We're gonna catch that train to a higher plane Yeah You know that you know it Okay, right, get your top cap then. So I forgot to say actually, if we just take this drip tip off, you see this top cap here. So literally that just sits over the top of the the coil. So you can just see there, just sits in just like that. So grab your cap, put it over the top, give it a little wiggle. There you go in place now and then if you spin it right around you get the airflow lining up directly in front of the the coils there right we are back up top with the asgard 30 millimeter on top of the carbon by uh tvc and dovpo right warning i've managed to mangle the bottom of my rda by using it on the top side i tried it on my other one as well does fit on there but when you're adjusting the airflow or taking it off the mod if you've got this cap on you're likely to do what i've done and i've really mangled up my paintwork so if you're going to be using it on the uh top side i strongly suggest putting it on with just the base on first and then putting the cap on afterwards the trouble is when you're adjusting the airflow that's when it's uh, rubbing against the the top of this uh the cap filler cap on the top side so yeah, highly, highly pissed off I am that I did this because I didn't realize I'd actually done it until I looked today because I've been using this in RDA mode uh, a lot of the time and I didn't notice. But because I got this top side recently, I put it on here and had a go. But I know that the uh, Lost Fate drone can take up to 40 millimeters. So that one w will work okay. But it's such a, an annoyance because it looks awesome on here as well, especially with the rebirth drip tip on there but uh, yeah let's go on to fit and finish and build quality uh, because i can't really give the paintwork a uh, thumbs down just for the fact that i've done this myself but it has scraped it off and um but it looks awesome though the way the asgard sort of like punched in and there we got the gun metal over the top so no in your face branding i think that looks awesome no sharp edges or anything the o-ring tolerances are very nice to adjust the airflow and yeah to take it off as well it's really good o-ring tolerances the Alton piece spins nice and freely as well the build deck the grub screws work very well we've got a nice deep juice well no rough edges on here nice solid chunk of stainless steel in there as well and uh, yes it's uh, just built very well in this particular rda but just watch it if you're going to be using it on the the top side but let's have a little toot then. Right, we've got all of these honeycomb airflow holes. How many is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we've got 30 on each side. We've got the top row of uh, honeycomb in the Ultim as well and the Cyclops bit. So you are getting sort of like a double bit of a re restriction there. So I'll give you a little airflow rating now. We've got it uh, wide open, 100 watts, and we've got a 0 0.20 build. Here we go. Right, with 10 being a very super airy vape and 1 being a proper restrictive vape, I'll give this a 7.5 or 8 out of 10 for the airflow. So it's not a super airy vape. We've got uh, restriction. It's smooth as you like, though, across the board. And uh, But yeah, for me, it works perfectly with it wide open. But we will restrict it down to halfway now. Put the wattage down to 100 uh, about 80 watts still smooth plenty of vapor still 
and you can put it down a little bit further but as ever i just find that the flavor diminishes and it gets a little bit too hot so put it down to 58 watts with a course open but it's still smooth and it's not especially especially loud this particular one but awesome draw you get, and it really is for a 30 millimeter atomizer because you've got that Alton piece in there, it's like reducing the chamber size. So the flavor really is a top draw on here. <clears throat> and the other good thing with this one is when you're squonking, because those airflow holes are right up the top, you can squonk it right over the cores. I've had absolutely no leaking with this. It will take a little while to uh, suck it back out, this one, but. Um, yeah, there you go. One thing you have to watch out for, because I have my coils, uh, they're sort of pushed in a little bit. There is a little bit of spit back when you first dripped or squonked on it. So it might be advisable to bring them out slightly towards the sides, but just uh, be careful. You're not going to touch the, the Alton piece in there because I've got 3.5 millimeter coils in here. I did have to watch out because on the top, they are, I've got them raised high because I cut the coily for, to, I think it was 7.5. I can't remember what I did down low now, but just be careful that you're not going to be interfering with that Ultim on there. But I do think the flavor is slightly better with them uh, pushed in, but you've just got to experiment uh, to your liking. And uh, if you're getting spit back, just maybe put them out slightly. But anyway, let's get on to the flavor then. So I'll just give you a nice little pull at 90 watts so I did get a little bit of spit back there because I just squonked on it so here we go flavor is right up there it's at least a good 9 out of 10 not sure it's a 9.5 but definitely a 9 it's a cracking flavor for RDA this one is and um yeah, it's right up there. A really smooth airflow. You can rock this around 60 watts if you want, just reduce the airflow slightly. So it's an all-day vape, in my opinion. And the other good thing with it is, if you do want to put it in regular RDA mode, you can just take it off the mod, give the base a little wipe down, get your Allen key out, and take one of the little grub screws out the bottom. Incidentally, I think there were only two in my one really. I thought there were three, but I noticed there was a, a gap on one side. So I think you just come with two. So when you finish with it, just plug it out back in the bottom. And that is an awesome little idea from Vapors Cloud. Right, I have got the Stormbreaker here, which is a triple parallel mob by Vapors Cloud, but I don't like using the Asgard on it because as you can see that the NAT 510, which is an adjustable one, doesn't connect very well with the, the bottom of my um, Asgard because this isn't a, fly, a flat 510 on it when you put that screw in. It's like basically got like a hole surrounding it. So when you put it on the uh, Stormbreaker, I'm not getting the best connection with this one. You're getting a weak vape, especially with a 0.2 ohm build in it. But I'm just going to put it on the Mod Defined Lyra now just to show you what it's like in regular mode. This is at 90 watts as well. And obviously when you're using it in RDA mode, you've got to drip your juice on it and it does work very well as a dripper as well. This one can handle up to 28 mil, so you have got slight overhang on here. So you just got to get yourself like a wild ball for a 30 millimeter compatible atty. Like I say, the drone uh, squonk device can take up the 40 millimeters. So I recommend that. I've got that one out there as well. I've just uh, been using it on the carbon because I've been testing that one at the moment, but I'm so annoyed that I've mangled up that paintwork as you can see there but uh yeah overall though this sati has been a pleasurable experience and i will be continuing to use it the flavor is right up there the drawer is nice and smooth if you like that honeycomb airflow smoothness then you'll enjoy this particular atty but you just got to make sure you can get a mod that can accommodate it so 
I bought this one from SR Vapes in the UK. Uh, very reasonable prices. Uh, quick turnaround as well. You normally get the delivery in at least a day or two at the most. So Steve, big thanks for this. You also, I also bought the Stormbreaker for him as well. And at the time, I, there was an offer on. I think it was one hundred and forty nine ninety nine for that. The Asgard, I believe, I paid forty five for it. But um, yeah, really impressed with both of these. It does look awesome on the Stormbreaker. It's just a pity that it doesn't work particularly well because that's why I bought both of these. But um, just show you because we've got the graphite grey and the gunmetal Asgard it just looks awesome but I'll try and give you a little pull on it see it is working because I've got a point to own building there it's just not enough for it um, because that 510 connection just isn't working particularly very well with the Asgard so that is a little bit of a, a con that I really wish this had a flat 510 on it so it would work better on here because using this on other RDAs that have got the flat 510 it works very well but like I say overall this Asgard does get a big thumbs up from me and a recommendation so big thanks for watching guys uh, as ever i've got all my social media links below the video got my website too it's mf8.co.uk and the video will also appear on vape tube so get your asses over there and give me a little sub it will be much appreciated so until next time guys thanks very much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one okay cheers